Nobody puts baby in a corner. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie couples with the best chemistry. One game, one on one. <laughs> for what? Your heart. I don't have the time to give you the proper instruction. <laughs> I have had the proper instruction since I was four. Nobody really thinks it will work, do they? No. You just described every great success story. For this list, we're looking at movie actors who wowed us with their electric romantic connection. If we missed your favorite pairings, let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Celine and Jesse, The Before Trilogy Richard Linklater's Before Trilogy is able to capture the way relationships evolve as we grow and age, and all the cynicism that can bring. But if you want true love, uh, then this is it. This is real life. It's not perfect, but it's real. And if you can't see it, then you're blind. All right, if I give up. But the films wouldn't work nearly as well as they do without the intense chemistry between Jesse and Celine, played to perfection by Ethan Hawke and Julie Delpy. Must be like him in your dream and you in mine or something. Mm -hmm. And what's so cool is that this whole evening, all our time together, shouldn't officially be happening. Yeah, I know. Maybe that's why this feels so otherworldly. The structure of the films is set up to convey a deep connection, two people having interesting and passionate conversations over the course of a night or an afternoon. Hawks and Delpy's contributions to the material cannot be overstated, both helping with the screenplays and bringing their personal lives into the story. Perhaps that's why their chemistry feels so grounded in reality. I feel I was never able to forget anyone I've been with, because each person had their own specific qualities. You can never replace anyone. What is lost is lost. Number 9. Ennis and Jack, Brokeback Mountain We'll never get over this story about two lonesome cowboys or the beautiful chemistry at the movie center. Ennis and Jack have a complicated relationship, to say the least, and playing the characters to their full potential couldn't have been an easy task. But Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger were more than up for it. For how long? As long as we can ride it. There ain't no reins on this one. So, where did all that natural chemistry come from? Well, the two already knew each other, but director Ang Lee said he thinks their innocence really helped carry the movie through. And we think he's right. I wish I knew how to quit you. Then why don't you? The actors play well off of each other, but they both have an earnestness about them that jumps out even when they're trying to hold back, making for a compelling romance. Sometimes I miss you so much I can hardly stand it. Number 8. Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy – Pride and Prejudice Elizabeth has bewitched Mr. Darcy, body and soul. And honestly, their chemistry has us feeling that type of way too. Pride and Prejudice begins with Darcy and Elizabeth at odds, but that initial distaste only gives their relationship and affection for each other more time to grow. So what do you recommend to encourage affection? Dancing. Even if one's partner is barely tolerable. Kira Knightley and Matthew McFadden both really lean into the yearning aspect of the love story. Plenty of long, lingering looks and titillating hand flexes in this one, folks. But what really sends this dual performance over the top is the way both actors are able to effortlessly handle the dialogue. Are you laughing at me? No. Are you rejecting me? I'm sure that the feelings which, as you've told me, have hindered your regard will help you in overcoming it. They throw every ounce of romance, bite, and intelligence they have at it. And we love it. Most ardently. You have bewitched me, body and soul. And I love, and love, and love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. Number 7. Diane and Lloyd – Say Anything In your eyes, the light, the heat Be honest, you started singing along. We all know the boombox scene by heart, but we shouldn't forget about the wonderful romance that leads to that moment. I just can't have any social life right now. Don't worry about it, we're just having coffee. We'll be antisocial. Be friends? Yeah. Potential. Diane and Lloyd don't seem like a match made in heaven at first glance. He's a bit of a slacker, she's top of the class. He doesn't have much of a plan for anything. She plans everything out to the letter. 
but from that very first phone call, you can tell how charmed they both are by each other, from his nervous rambling to her responding bemusement. By the way, I want to just tell you that I lived in England for three months, and my parents were in Harvard, you know, so we lived in England. And in Germany, I could give you an enormous amount of tips. John Cusack and Ioni Skye really nailed that exciting, butterflies-in-your-stomach, beginning part of a relationship that we all love so much. Nobody really thinks it will work, do they? No. You just described every great success story. Number 6. Maria and Tony, West Side Story Love at first sight is difficult to convey effectively. But with a little help from Stephen Sondheim and Leonard Bernstein, Natalie Wood and Richard Beamer were able to do just that as Maria and Tony in West Side Story. You're not thinking I'm someone else. I know you are not. that we've met before? I know we have not. This classic musical follows the Romeo and Juliet-esque pair as they try to be together despite interference from their respective families and friends. The actors have plenty of moments where their over-the-top attraction shines through. The fire escape scene certainly comes to mind for one. And what was just a one is a star. But the moment they first meet really shows just how strong their connection is. You're not making a joke. I have not yet learned how to joke that way. I think now I never will. As they dance, they're unable to take their eyes off each other. Number 5. Elena and Alejandro – The Mask of Zorro not only do these two have physical chemistry that's off the charts, and how could they not, have you seen both of them? But their fighting chemistry is pretty incredible too. I don't have the time to give you the proper instruction. <clears throat> I have had the proper instruction since I was four. In The Mask of Zorro, Antonio Banderas plays Alejandro, a thief training to become the new Zorro, and Catherine Zeta-Jones plays Elena, the original Zorro's daughter. The two meet while Alejandro is undercover at a party, and the spark is electric. But while we love watching their choreography when they dance, the way they move in tune with each other when they sword fight is spectacular. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Number 4. Annie and Jack – Speed the non-stop action and speed might be heart-pounding, but the chemistry between Keanu Reeves' Jack and Sandra Bullock's Annie is heart-fluttering. Jack and Annie's relationship starts off quite intensely. It's a game. If he gets the money, he wins. If the bus blows up, he wins. What if you win? Then tomorrow we'll play another one. But I'm not available to drive tomorrow. Busy. They are, after all, trying to stop a bomb from exploding on a speeding bus. An experience like that is bound to bring you together in an incendiary way. But Reeves and Bullock are able to find the heart of the characters underneath all the wild action stunts. You're not gonna get mushy on me, are you? <laughs> Maybe. Is that mine? And we love the quiet moments between them just as much as we love the jaw-dropping ones. You didn't leave me. Didn't have anywhere to be just then. Number 3. Monica and Quincy – Love and Basketball One game, one on one. For what? Your heart. Playing a one-on-one -on -one basketball game for your relationship may seem a bit dramatic, but by the time you get to that pivotal scene in Love and Basketball, you're already so invested in Monica and Quincy it doesn't matter. Things between this couple aren't always easy. When you grow up together, there are bound to be some growing pains. If I stayed, I wouldn't be stuck. Or at least you got your priorities straight. I've never asked you to choose. You never have to. We adore how Omar Epps and Sanaa Lathan show the characters affection for each other, even in their bad times, though. And going back to that one-on-one -on -one game because we love it, the actors effortlessly capture the couple's chemistry with their athleticism as well. Seriously, who knew so much could be said with a simple basketball game? Hey. Double or nothing. Number 2. Ali and Noah – The Notebook Ryan Gosling has effortless chemistry with a lot of the actors he's worked with, so it was difficult to pick the one we wanted to put on this list. And while we almost went with the connection he shared with Emma Stone in Crazy Stupid Love, nothing beats Noah and Ali's young love in The Notebook. Do you want to dance with me? <laughs> sure. 
For all the magneticism between the two, Gosling and Rachel McAdams didn't get along for much of the movie shoot. The actor's strained relationship obviously works well for the scenes when the characters are older and have more history. Now I hate you, you well, slut bastard! You. If you leave here, I hate you! you what, hey, you I haven't paid any here. attention to anything that's been happening I guess not. I think I must have misread all of those signals. Yeah, I guess you did. But the scenes between them as young Noah and Allie are utterly joyous and exuberant. They also dated in real life, so they must have gotten over whatever it was. Now say you're a bird, too. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Allie and Jackson Maine, A Star is Born. We're far from the shallow now. Julia and Robbie, The Wedding Singer. We hope these two grew old together. That song was about you. <laughs> I'm in love with you. I am so in love with you. Baby and Johnny, Dirty Dancing. We have the time of our lives watching them. Nobody puts Baby in a corner. Sally and Harry, When Harry Met Sally. We'll have what they're having. Yes! 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 Oh! 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 Oh, God! Oh! Chiron and Kevin, Moonlight, beautiful chemistry personified. Remember the last time I saw you? For a long time, try not to remember. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Rose and Jack, Titanic Once again, we will never let go of this couple. As Jack and Rose, Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet have such an easy chemistry, it's no wonder the two remain good friends today. But you might be surprised to know that the actors were forced to get extra comfortable with each other right off the bat. The first scene Winslet and DiCaprio filmed together was the famous nude sketching scene. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Wearing this. All right. Wearing only this. Of course, the characters are feeling a little bit of discomfort during this moment, which is appropriately conveyed. You can't help but wonder if having to film the steamy scene first paved the way for the rest of the actor's effortless connection. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.